Is there blood? Who's killing who? Where do they get shot? I have to see. Things are really starting to get exciting. Yes, 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 yes. What's up, guys? I'm Noob Genesis, and I am back yet again. This is for episode four. Yeah, four. Episode four. So we're going to open up this and see what we did last. And if you haven't figured out by now, guys, you can also check in the description, and I've got links to uh, Modcraft, which is the site that I'm normally on for WoW modding, if I'm on. And that's where a lot of the information is going to be, including the thread with all this stuff um, and all the prerequisites and stuff like that. So if you need that, you can just go there and find it. It's also got the actual whole series. So what we did last is we added, I'll, added this section. Um, <clears throat> we removed a bunch of stuff. We added basically a whole new frame. And now we're going to do that yet again. But this time we're going to do it with the customization buttons and the gender buttons and stuff, I think. So a lot of this is going to be some of the same stuff. But what you're going to do is just the way this works. It gets pretty tedious. But I did say in the last episode, uh, if you want to stop watching it, go ahead because it's mostly the same stuff, but I did end up doing some different stuff which involved a lot of positioning and moving things around, so if you did miss that, you should probably go check it out because it is pretty useful. Um, and maybe the same thing will be in this one where it's a lot of positioning and stuff, so it's up to you and what you want to do. But anyway, let's get straight into it. And the first thing we needed to do was to work on... What do we need to do? We've got the frame and the next button. The back button. No, we've done the back button. All right, we need to get this next button working because at the moment it doesn't do anything. And this will be next button two, I think. Next button one went to frame two. Hang on, let's count. This is next button one, next button two, yep. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to make it so next button two goes to frame three and hides frame two. Yeah, that should be it. All right, so we also need, actually, we also need to make it hide itself. Next button, two, hide. Back button, one, uh, back button, two, hide. Uh, ch -ch -ch. And then we can remove this race thing, because that's already hidden. We don't need that to show. Um, hide the class. Whoops. Capitalization, always important. Uh, next button, three, and back button, three need to be added if they aren't already. I know next button, three is added, but did I add back button, three? Uh, no, I did not. So I need to add that as well. Easy enough. And we need to change back three. There we go. That's simple. And I think that's all for the next button. Let's, uh, whoops, what did I do? Reload UI, next, next, and it's all over the place because we had to, we edited that stuff, That that's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and start deleting things. The good old fun of deletion. But yet again, before we do that, we're going to copy the whole frame again because we're going to need it one last time after this. And I don't want to grab it from another file, I want to just use this one file because it's just simpler that way. So we need to go to bottom, where's the frame? Frame. Copy that down there. And we need to change the name of this frame so it doesn't overlap to four. And then we got seven, eight, and nine. Nope, wait, because I remember I deleted one of the things and I renamed them. So that's seven and six. And now this one needs to be lowered, I think. What the hell frame on? I've gone past it. Customization frame. That's frame four. Oh, no, I didn't. No, that's right. This is the one that's still full. I've got to change a lot of this one. Artwork. Here we go. One, two, done. Then this one. That's frame two. Yep, then it has its class buttons. Frame three. This is what I need to change. Three, four, five. And this needs to go to three and five. Yep. And out of border one, that can just stay the same. I can't really bother changing out of borders. No, wait. Oh, that's the banners. That's going to get deleted anyway. Fuck it. Oops, I'm going to delete the layer again. Just to get rid of some confusion. Actually, as I'm going down, I might as well delete some stuff. What's this one? This is frame three. So this one, we just need the gender and the customization buttons. God damn it, I accidentally got rid of the overlay. No, I didn't get rid of the overlay. 
So there's the gender, class name can go. Hide the horde, and, the horde and Alliance labels. And that should be that layer to that layer. Yep, that's fine. Race buttons go away. Gender button male stays. Button female stays. Class buttons can go away as well. The randomized button this time stays because that's the randomized button for these buttons here. So we want that stuff all there. And I forgot to change something in here. That's right, this goes to six. And I forgot to change this up higher as well, actually. But this one I forgot to change here. So that goes to six and eight. Now I've got to change that up higher. Where is it? Border one. Oh, I've gone too far. That's frame two on this section. It's so annoying when you got to go over the same things over and over and over again. Or when you copy and paste a lot of the same thing because it all just looks the same as you're flicking through it. And that also needs to go to four. Wait, no. No. What am I doing? No. Bad. Bad Genesis. Alright, so that's that done. You know, startup. Where's startup? We need frame four hidden. Oops, that's not a four, that's a three. I know my English. Alright, so next, next, and that's all we wanted. And that button goes back to that, because remember we copy-pasted the other one, so that's going to fuck up. But it doesn't matter. We can change the next three to do nothing for now, because I don't want it to go back to next two. And the back two needs to get rid of that. Oh, the back two just needs to do what? Wait, is it back two or back three that I'm up to? Uh, one sec. Let's have a look. Whoops, too far. All right, so that's back one, back two, back three is what we're up to. All right, no problem. I'm going to copy the next two because the next two does what back three does in reverse. That's a three. Back. Now hide that. The other thing it does add. Oh, whoops. No, what am I doing? I can just do that four. Show that. And get rid of that three. So it hides number three and shows number four. Now these just get moved up. Three, three, four, four. And class gets hidden. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. What am I doing? I'm doing it in reverse. Oh, I'm an idiot. Let's just replace that again, because that was just stupid. That was even stupider. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Alright, so yes, that, that's back three. Fine. Starting back from there. Now we need to make it so it shows this, hides this, and shows these. I got it, I got it, I know what I'm doing. <sighs> That's another thing with, with modding for most things, it's always the simple answers that you screw up with. Like, whenever you come up with errors, it's nearly always the simplest things. Okay, so next and back work there now. Easy enough. So now what we need to do is... We don't need the next button to work yet. Uh, what's the next button we're up to? Next three. That doesn't need to work yet. But we do need to make this stuff moved. Alright, so we need to go back to our XML. And we're at frame 3, not frame 4. Alright, so first things first, we want to move the gender stuff up the very top. Uh, what's this? This is a font string, so we do want that at the very top. Uh, where did we have the class name thing? Class name is at minus 32 relative to top. Alright, we can just copy this anchor. Because we want it to be in the exact same spot. Uh, there it is. So that should move that up, and it should move the buttons with it, because the buttons w should be linked to it. No, they're not. Interesting. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's move this up. And also, this is, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but this white background, it's not meant to be like that. It's meant to be like that background. But for some reason, it likes to screw up. I think I need to grab another one of these, or just rename it and add a new copy of it, but... 
I'm not going to do that yet, so we're just going to leave it as the white for now. But anyway, back to this. Need to move the buttons up. So what level were the class buttons on? Minus 38 for height. So that's easy enough. Minus 38. Minus 38. And that should be just below the male. Or female in this case. Easy. Now customization buttons need to go up higher as well. Uh, the random Are these relative to the randomizers? Yeah, they are. All right, so what this means is basically these are not relative to each other. They're relative to this button here, which randomizes appearance. So when I move this randomized button up, it'll move them all up. Oh, sorry, they are actually linked to each other, but it's basically this randomizer is linked to that one. That one's linked to that, that one to that, that and that and that. So when I move this up, it's going to move this up, which moves that up, and you get the picture. So all I need to do is move the randomization button up. And we don't want that relative to the bottom. We want it to relative to the top. And then we need to estimate how far past minus 38 it needs to be. I'm going to say about 512 for now. I could be way off. But I guess we'll find out. No, I'm fairly off still, but oh, we need to half that at least. Maybe even 128 would be right, but we'll go with 256. Because you might as well do it in steps because you don't want to overshoot it. Otherwise, you're going to have to be re-editing anyway. Look at that. So if I had done 128, I would have had to re-edit it again. Next question is, do I want to move the randomized button up high? No, nah, the randomized button can stay. It doesn't want to go high. It's all good. Uh, okay, so now we need to move. Like, we need to get the frame changing again. And I'm curious. Do I want to put the hide show info thing on here? Hmm. I could add the hide show info button down here, and we can have it so it pops up there that wouldn't be too bad i mean that way you could have your descriptions and stuff actually no i'm not going to do that because i got an idea i got something else i want to do instead not on this page but on the next page with the show and hide info so we just want to move this border or make the border smaller and whatnot um, and if you remember there it's in three parts and we can probably just remove this one but i'm not going to completely remove it this time and we're in the wrong yeah we're not in the right frame so I'm just going to do this commenting one. This is where I find the commenting more useful because I don't actually want to get rid of it because I'm not sure I want to keep, uh, I want to do it this way. So now this needs to be relative to three instead of four. And if we do that now, whoops, I forgot to save it. Reload. How'd that go? All right, so it is smaller, but we need to shrink it still. So this will be fine. We can delete that other one. Alrighty. Now, this can go to 128. Actually, no, I don't even need to shrink these. Because if I shrink them, it makes the borders go smaller. And last, and you get that effect, which it's not that big of a deal, but it, it can make a little bit of difference. And it doesn't have to be like that. Like, that's the thing. It doesn't have to. So, what we're going to do is we can just move this up by 128. Probably not enough, but whatever. Yep, not enough. But you can see there's you don't actually see the overlap. That's where it overlaps by that tiny little mark there. So that's no big deal. So we're going to add 256, and I think that's overshooting it. Yeah, that's overshot it. So I need to go back down. So 128 plus 64. 192 we want. Oops, too far. 192. Reload UI. And that, that looks fairly neat. I mean, it doesn't hug it exactly, but that's not exactly a bad thing. We could probably add it up by another, not 32, we want it up by 16. So 192 plus 16, 208. And you can probably see by now why I do it in these intervals, because like these 8.8 uh, 8 bit dis, uh, I don't even know what I'm fucking saying, but. It's because I can keep it neat and I can get the measurements right a bit easier. So like that looks better. I could probably go up another eight even to be honest. Just just because. So 216. And that should hug nicely. Yeah, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And in all honesty, that's pretty much it for this episode. Like that's a really short episode, but that's all we needed to do. It's that simple. And now you can kind of see how it's taking form though. So basically you create a character. Alright, so what do I want to play? What do I want to play? 
I'm going to go with... Uh, yeah, I, I tend to like the undead. So you choose your character. Go next. You choose your class. Because this way you can also see what classes you get to choose a lot easier. Um, I like rogues. I also like mages and warlocks. Warlock. And then we're going to go male. Skin color, face, whatever. But you can see how it all takes shape. And you can do some more things. And then later on you can add whatever you want to these things as well. Which makes it just that little bit extra. But anyway guys. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps someone. I know this is pretty much the same as the last episode. The next episode is going to have a little bit more. 